So last week, the high school football season started for both Indiana and Kentucky with the Crosstown Showdown. Now the Ohio schools will get it underway, and we've got two of the best from the GCL from St. X. It's uh, Steve Specht and, of course, Jim Hilbert from LaSalle. Coach, let me ask you first, going from college at Thomas More College, well, you, you, you build such a tremendous program, uh, six conference championships in eight years, and now you're adjusting to the high school level. Has it been a big adjustment for you in terms of getting ready for a new season? Oh, definitely. As I know, it's an adjustment. Just dealing with young men and young kids at a different age and obviously trying to improve their lives of being becoming, doing the right thing and, you know, accountability and discipline and, and kind of creating what, you know, what hard work's all about. Uh, but I said the kids have been great. Uh, the, just the LaSalle community you know, has welcomed me with open arms, obviously, with a transition to LaSalle. But it's been, it's been a good change. Before I get to Coach Speck, why make the change? What was the allure? Uh, for me, obviously, being in the GCL was one. Mm -hmm. And family. Family was a big thing for me. Uh, it was tough, obviously, losing, leaving Thomas Moore. And my, obviously, the, the coaches I worked with, the administration, the kids, and the relationships that I had there. Uh, but I said, you know, it's been an, I said, an easier transition with the people that have been at LaSalle. It's been, it's been good. Steve Specht of St. X goes over the 100-win plateau last year, and I know you coaches, you're very modest, you'll say it means either I have great players or I've been there for too long, but that was a very special night because a certain <laughs> guy named Hayden returned a pass, an interception for a touchdown to make it a three-score game. We know who that was. It's the coach's son. Talk about that night, that win, very special all the way around. Well, I, just, I think he just hammered it, watching my son intercept the pass and take it back for a touchdown. That beats any victory I've ever had in my career. I, I would have been just as excited up in the stands. Uh, but you, you, the other point is when you have great players, you win. You're a good coach when you have good players. And I've been very blessed to be at St. Xavier High School to have coached under Steve Rasso and to be a part of a great community. So that's a testament to the school, not, not one individual. I knew it was coming. I knew he would answer it that way, but it was a special <laughs> night indeed. And, and one of the players who helped make that possible was Ben Glines, who was a senior running back at the time. You lose Ben, obviously, to graduation. Plans for the offensive backfield. Without d divulging too much, because I know you guys have to play each other in October. <laughs> uh, Sean Prophet's doing a great job. Sean was actually, Ben uh, hurt his ankle last year, and Sean was a junior and stepped in, and he rushed for three straight 100-yard gains, uh, and then he tore his ACL. But he came back this year. He looks great right now. He's doing a fantastic job for us. Uh, we, 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 new kids step up. That's a great thing about high school yeah. coaching. I'm sure coaches, Coach Hilbert's finding out is there's, a, there's always the next. And the, the, the names change, the faces change, but they're still kids. And it's lo I, I love working with them. And that, that's a fun part about being a high school coach. And Coach Hilbert at LaSalle will inherit, uh, I think he's a pretty good running back in Jeremy Larkin. Uh, I mean, he's got a chance to go for 5,000 career yards on the ground this season if he continues along as he has in previous seasons. Talk about getting Jeremy, like I said, inheriting him and, and getting him acclimated to your offense because it will be a little different from what he's had in the past from Coach Moore. Right. I, I, every single day I, th I thank God that I have Jeremy Mark on my <laughs> team. Uh, just a, The thing is that Jeremy's a great kid. Uh, great person. He's become a, obviously a, more of a vocal leader. Uh, he's a, you know has that lunch pail mentality every single day, uh, and, and just what a great kid. And obviously, when you watch him, you know on Fridays and see some of the things he does, now you see him in person. It's, it's like a wow factor. And uh, obviously, offensively, we inherited a lot of guys back on the offense, some experience, which I think will help us mature as a defense because we lose seven guys mm -hmm. on defense, a lot of young guys. Like Coach said, some new faces on defense that are going to get that Friday night experience and some talent. Just guys that don't have that. Friday night experience. Well, and, and at quarterback, you return Nick Watson, who's a senior now. He has some tremendous numbers himself, considering how well they've run the football with Jeremy. How much better could Nick be, at least statistically more impressive would he be, if he didn't have Jeremy Larkin to turn in hand to? I, I think Nick, I, that for him, you know, with over the last two years, the experience he's gotten with the run they went through last year, I think sky's the limit on how, you know, how good he can be this year and just keep improving uh, with, you know, his run and pass reads and stuff like that. He's another guy that's been a great leader, does a great job every single day, uh, you know, picks up his teammates when they need to be picked up, and has really, really run with, really has run with being a leader on our team. Coach Speck, it's saying next, your quarterback, Sean Clifford, has, um, he started playing at a young age, so you kind of take some lumps early, but it should really benefit him and the program now. Yeah, Sean, Sean just recently committed to Penn State University. Mm -hmm. Sean has a I think Sean will be the best I've ever coached. He yeah. has that much potential, and I don't have a problem challenging him. I think he relishes the challenge, and every day I, I tell him, you got this chance, this opportunity. What are you, you going to do with it? And we'll see. He's, he's still young. He's only a junior, but he's got a great future ahead of him. He's very talented. He can do, he can do it all, and he's a wonderful leader. He, he was voted captain as a junior, and 
I'm excited about it. It's an, it's an early commit to Penn State. Do you, do you think that will benefit him to have that out of the way and he can focus exclusively on his uh, high school boy, season? That's a great question. I, I, in today's day and age of recruiting, I think it works for Sean. Yeah. I think it fits. The, they're getting earlier and earlier and offering kids, and it, it's gotten more difficult. But, you know, Sean's, he's happy. He felt comfortable there, and I say get it over with. Now he can just enjoy being right. a high school kid and focus on playing and getting better. Okay, very quickly, one last question. You're both playing teams from either Indiana or Kentucky who played last week. You guys obviously did not play last week. Disadvantage going against Cubcat coming off a seven-point loss to Ryle? Well, I, we were talking before, I think you make the most improvement from week one to week two. Yep. I think that's a distinct advantage. But at the same time, it's a game. We're just excited about playing again. It's high school sport. We're starting the kickoff season with the, the Crosstown Showdown. And what a great venue, Nippert Stadium. Yep. We're just happy to be here. Carmel of Indiana, what do you know? Uh, very well coached. Coach Heber's done a great job. Uh, he's a brand new coach, too, there. Uh, they, Loaded with talent, you know, from offense and defense side of the ball. Loaded, uh, led by their quarterback, who's going to Air Force, does a great job running and throwing the football. So, you know, our guys are excited about the opportunity and challenge we have in front of us. Obviously, kicking it off in Nipper Stadium is really excited for our team. LaSalle's Jim Hilbert, Steve Specht of St. X, together tonight, opposite sidelines in about five, six weeks. It'll be fun in the GCL this year. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.